What is going on guys? It's Kfield here bringing you some more F1 2012 career mode action. We're at Korea for the Korean Grand Prix. Uh, 14 laps. 25%. So we are starting 10th place on the grid. Uh, due to a car that is, has a little bit of understeer and that can be the death of you here. We'll see what happens. I'm going to bump my front wing angle up even more to help the car grip in the corner, the slow corners even more. And uh, everything as far as fuel strategy, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to go with it. So we're going to start off pretty heavy due to the cost of fuel strategy. But our rival's all the way up in second place. So, And we're starting in tenth, so it's going to be a little bit hard to get up to him unless... We have a solid start, and our straight line acceleration is very strong in this car. So we'll see if that front wing angle change will help us. But let's get out to the grid and get it going. It's gonna get waved out. All right. So everything kind of hinges on this start. And the first couple laps, and getting the most out of these tires, you're only going to go four laps on them. So it's super soft, so. We're not where we expected, so let's try yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a fourth place uh, objective for me. It's going to be a little hard to get into that, but we'll see. Strong start. Going to get on the brakes really early. Cutting through the grass even, nowhere else to go. Forcing it three wide. Not three wide. It's Hamilton. I'm gonna be on Hamilton's outside. He's gonna shut the door on me. Yes he is. Little bit too crazy through there for my taste. But right can I can see falling back to third. Don't want to spin the car on these curving, on the curves. Hamilton gets a little bit sideways, but he has this acceleration to make up for it. Car's a little bit loose there due to how we turned in. grass a little bit. That's going to hurt our grip. Kind of want to be in DRS when the, we get that far. But we'll see if we make up any kind of advantage on the back straightaway. It seems like that's where we get our advantage with curves. And I like, I just use a whole bar of it here carry the most speed. But we can see we're pulling away from Rosberg. And gaining on the front car is just a little bit. We have made up a little bit of ground. Not a whole lot, but the cars are battling real hard up there. Let's just watch our fuel consumption. Hamilton is getting it wrong, it looks like he gets it wrong again, the car breaks free on him. Trying to squeeze the position, force him outside, we didn't have the room. Should have DRS this time by. 
assuming we hit the corner one right. Still hogging the slipstream. It will have DRS. So will he, so I want to still carry as much momentum as I can. Am I going to have the room to get away with it? Looking at his outside, trying to squeeze him. We are going to have the clean pass, it looks like. Right behind our rival now. And he's being held up by Massa, it looks like he's got the faster car. It's right where I want to be too, right up in the action. I think I would be safe to kick it to standard now and not burn up too much fuel. We're already using, getting a slipstream advantage from the cars in front of us. Almost losing it. Curb almost spun the car. We're still okay. I think we'll still be in DRS, we'll see. Yes we are, it's gonna help us big time. Good run. I'm, not, I'm only gonna put it to Rich on that straightaway, unless I'm told that he's running Rich. And we'll have to match his speed. And I don't want to start doing that. I think that front wing angle change really helped us stay competitive with these front cars. Because the car is simply too tight otherwise. It's going to be important that we get a good pit entry and don't waste too much time. We're going to be pitting a lap before him I believe. Managed to get a good, good at, uh, entry. Pit lane is very tricky here. We're gonna have to come around this track very quickly. Good stop, guys. Come on, get us out. Decent enough. Gotta run rich for my outlap. Watch out for traffic as you rejoin the track. It's not what we needed. I think we should be able to come back around, beat him out of the pits, we'll see. It's really important that we don't have any screw-ups here. See my rival just about to get in sector three. So 
So far, so good. Can we beat him? It's gonna be really close. There he is. Just behind him. I already have a really good run on him. I'm gonna shift to the outside. Can I make this pass sick? It looks like we are. Beautiful. Not all the cars have pit yet either. Let the car coast through there and settle out a little bit. Now we're going to have a hard fought battle in front of us because he's just as fast as we are. We're gonna have to deal with this DRS uh, comebacks, so. No room for error right now. I will keep that in mind, Andy. I'm more worried about the car behind me right now. More cars are in the pits. See, it's gonna be a race to beat them. Use all my curves here to try to eke out in front of Hamilton. We're gonna have the momentum again. Shut the door on him. Beautiful, up to fourth place. I don't know if Alonso has prime tires on, I can't tell. I don't know if he's pit. Yes, he does. So he has pit. Beautiful. If we continue this path, I don't need to win this race. I'm more concerned about my arrival. I mean, I'm in first place in the Drivers World Championship right now. It's not really where I want to be because it's not realistic. We just had some extremely fortunate luck this season and a really strong car. But then again, I'm not running default setups either. I've never not one race if I use like a quick setup. It's always been tweaked. You know, I'm not going to be slow if I don't have to be. I'm going to try to make the setup as fast as it can get this car to go around a track. So that's obviously helped us. So the assist, no doubt. Uh, that's going to be changing next se next season for sure. No assists. I'm really going to stick to my guns on that. So we might have a better year in a Force India than we will, uh, you know, a better car. Vettel's running the fastest lap of the race. But our best was a 143.7, his best is a 143.4, so we're doing really good for ourselves. Use all my curves. Not gonna have enough space, Hamilton. He's gotta be running rich. Oh, maybe not. No, he's not. There's no way he's running lean. Very nice, strong exit there. 
finally feel like I'm taking this track the right way. Snap the wheel off. I almost spun it hitting the grass right there. Believe it or not, my force feedback went crazy. I had to cock the wheel really fast. So even with all the aids on, you can spin it if your setup is not right for curb use. That is one thing that is for sure. Got to run a rich lap. Up to third, so another car is pit. I don't know who it was. Might have been a Red Bull. In fact, I'm going to back it down to standard. Now they only have one extra lap of fuel. I feel kind of concerned. Wish people would stop texting me when I'm trying to do stuff. Really annoying. Especially when you tell people ahead of time, listen, hey, I'm gonna be recording. Can't have my phone going off constantly. Maybe I should put it on vibrate. But then again, if it's an emergency, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and answer it. Sometimes you gotta have your priorities right, even when you're a gamer. Still able to hold it flat out coming out of that corner. I don't have to lift it all. It's good. Vettel continuously setting the fastest lap. Can't tell where my rival is. He's not any of the three cars behind me. I see a McLaren, a Mercedes, and a Red Bull, and I think he might be behind the Red Bull of Mark Webber. Oh, Hamilton gets off the push off the track there. It's going to be the end of his race, probably, as far as competition goes. He'll finish the race, looks like. I don't think he had any damage. So maybe Mark Webber's showing a little bit of too much aggression. He said that's who he was racing directly. No, but actually it was uh, Button or Perez. I can't see the number on the car. I can just see the delivery. So I know it's McLaren. So Weber's on full revs right now, so he's going to be trying to push to catch me. And I can't tell if there's Raikkonen behind him. So maybe it was the McLaren and Hamilton got collected. There's some bad blood between former team of Hamilton. Hamilton having moved to Mercedes this year. It's funny because in Malaysia this year, I don't know if anybody watched that race. Hamilton actually went into the McLaren pits. You know, having been a McLaren guy through and through since he was a kid, Ron Dennis has backed him for a very long time. Uh, he, I mean, I mean, that kind of mistake, you kind of expect it. Weber's got a strong run with the rich. He's going to have the run on me. I'm going to have to concede it. We're gonna try to answer back here. Go 
Rojan looking a little bit uh, aggressive behind me. I gotta be careful of him. We'll see if I can stay in Mark's DRS. We'll probably be able to answer back. That Australian's really moving right now. Oh, no more slipstream. He's too far out. DRS again. Uh, he's got the position. I'm gonna kick it off standard. Gotta hang out. He passed me fair and square. He's faster than me, so. Oh well, off the podium. Still gotta bring in a good points haul if he managed to hold this position. How's my tires doing? Not bad for three laps to go. Like Rojan really gonna give me a run for my money down this straightaway. That's all right. They give him full curse here. I'm really gonna push to block him. Looks like Perez getting sideways back there. It might have been Button too. I think that's Button. Back to our fuel. I don't think there's any reason to run rich right here. The track's too slow to really make use of it. Decent gap between us, so I got a little bit of breathing space, but not a whole lot. Trying to, but I don't want to wreck the car in the process. One lap to go, we'll go full rich all the way. And we hang on. Could I create a nice gap? See how long I can hold it on Rich. I think that's really 
I don't think I need to run Rich anymore. As long as he doesn't pass me there, I think we'll be okay. Mark's really hauling it, though. Just can't answer to him right now. Or we don't have an answer for him, is what I mean. But we're looking really good right now. I just got to really not screw up here on the final few sectors. We'll even set our objective if we don't manage to lose another place. Battle takes the win. Not surprising. It's had a little bit of bad luck this season so far. Seeing him come back to form here, not surprised. We are going to take the win or not win, fourth place, and set our objective, I believe. Yes, we did. Raikkonen all the way back in 20 seconds, so something serious happened to him. I wasn't aware of that. Really wow. Well done, 12 points. So we got 12 points for that. Vettel gets 25, Alonso 18, so he's Alonso's fighting back. We got a few races left this season, so he's got time. And he has taken the lead in the championship. It's more about what I want to see. Weber is very close. Nine points behind me. Raikkonen, 22-point gap between us. That's very comfortable. Uh, anyway, I can't. I just got to keep continue getting points. So I think we did very well for a setup that just really wasn't there. A track that we're not really too comfortable at. Uh, engineers giving us congratulations on setting your objective very good race this weekend from Kevin James so that is it guys that is all for Korea Kevin James gets result again against his teammate fully expect Adrian to want to return the favor at the next race well Adrian Sotil is Satil, I think is his name. Not subtle. Satil is something like it's got a weird pronunciation. I don't think he's going to be returning the favor because we have a faster car as of right now. Uh, Nico Rosberg finishes in front of Lewis Hamilton. Uh, a little bit of a surprise. Eh, not so much. And uh, Sebastian Vettel says, I can do better. Now that is more of like the Sebastian that I know. So that is all for Korea. We're heading into Suzuka next week. An awesome fast track with some really cool corners. You pull a lot of G. It's a really fun track. We only got five races left this season, including Japan. So we're going from Japan to India. Then we go to Abu Dhabi, then USA, and then Brazil, of course, which is my favorite track. Absolute bar none favorite track is Brazil. I think it's got a little bit of something for everybody, and it's it just feels really great to drive it. So uh, until then, guys, until India, I will see you next time. We're leaving with a 2-0 rivalry over our rival, or 2-0 lead, so I'm feeling good. But I will see you guys next time. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. It means a lot to me, of course, and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of the career season action and stay in touch with it. So uh, have a good one, guys. I'll catch you next time, and uh, peace out.